Hello everyone, welcome to the course called AI Powered Data Analysis in Python for Biotechnologists. In this particular course, we will be having four different modules. Module number one will teach you how you can handle NumPy, what is NumPy, what are the different tools available in NumPy, how you can simulate biological data, how you can do a numerical calculation in Python. So NumPy is nothing but numerical Python. It's one of the most important library that is being used for numerical calculations in Python and it's highly, highly important for data analysis in biology. In the second module, we will be talking about Pandas. In Pandas, you have the option to create or to convert your data in the form of tables. So as a biologist, we usually are comfortable with tabular form of the data, not array form of the data, right? So there is this library, wonderful library that is available. It's called Pandas and that provides you a lot of functions, a lot of functionality is available to convert your data in the form of table. And easily you can pick up the tables, you can pick up the rows, you can pick up any cell and analyze your data further. It makes you highly powerful and it gives you a lot of control over your data set. You can clean your data, you can change your data if you want without even looking at the data. So it's really, really important that you understand how to use Pandas library. After that, we will be understanding matplotlib, matplot library. All these three libraries, they are freely available. Anyone can use it without having any anything to even install. We have Google Collab. We can use Google Collab and use these library inside the Google Collaboratory itself. So in matplot library, as the name indicates, it provides you plotting functions. So you can plot your data in any way you want. There are so many options available. There are so many templates are available. You can even create codes using AI and it provides you a lot of freedom when it comes to different type of uh, biological data plotting. So there is no need for you to depend on any kind of software for your data analysis, data plotting. You have everything available in Python. So I'm sure you have completed the previous course that I've shared, which is basic analysis uh, or understanding of Python itself. Now you are equipped to understand all the complex codes that I'm going to teach in this particular course, and you will be able to easily, uh, you know, modify or edit your code also. Finally, then comes Seaborn library. Seaborn library is another library for plotting but it comes with a lot of additional functionalities. You can create plots that are really, really pleasant to see. Everything is uh, controlled as far as the publication quality is concerned. You can use default Seabound codes and you will get publication quality plots out. It is not that you are only using matplot library or Seaborn. You should mix and match, see what kind of plots that you want. You can control many functions using these libraries. And once you start using these libraries, you're never going to come back or switch to any other tool you're right now using. So please learn these things very, very carefully. And I am 101% confident that after taking this course, you will be equipped with a lot of skills that you can analyze your biological data or biological data sets very, very effectively. All right, everyone, thank you so much for your support. Please enroll to this course. This course is going to give you a lot of, lot of benefits as far as the skills are concerned for data analysis. And the cost of this particular course is really, really low as compared to the other courses. If you're a biologist, biotechnologist, microbiologist, and you want to understand data analysis, I'm a biologist, I can teach you because I can understand the problems that you're facing. And no one with a computer science background is going to teach you and understand your problems better. So this is the right platform please join the course and just evaluate what kind of changes and what kind of person you will become when it comes to biological data analysis after taking this particular course. I'm not going to do any kind of a specific project in this one. However, I will be creating different projects and different short-term projects, short-term courses, having those specific projects where we will do biological data analysis in very much detail. Please stay tuned to the research goal. We will be bringing more and more courses specifically focusing on interdisciplinary sciences and you will get different domain knowledge that will make you expert in the area of interdisciplinary research and you will publish high quality publications. Please don't worry if you don't have any programming experience. This course will be AI powered where we're going to take the help of AI to understand the code also. And I'm going to tell you that how you can generate the code and how you can understand the code because AI is available to everyone. That is why the name of the course is AI powered data analysis in Python for biotechnologists. All right, everyone. So if you are ready, then please enroll to the courses and complete the module. Please share this course with your friends, with your uh, social circles so that everyone gets benefit from the 
low cost high quality courses that we create this is very important for us as we have more users the cost of the future courses is going to significantly decrease so help us out in reaching more and more students more and more learners so that we can have low cost courses at a very very high quality thank you so much everyone let's complete the course